Hello Tumblr, uh, Devin here, you may know me better as Nudity and Nerdery, he says, stumbling over his own username. Uh, I have a pronunciation video that I have literally been meaning to do for months. I've had it saved in my drafts that somebody else did, and I went back and I checked it today and I've actually had it since June. So yeah, I guess now's a good time as any to get around to it. First question, your name and or username already covered that. Where you're from? I am from Arizona, America's Tatooine, which unfortunately means I don't even get one of the cool American accents. I just get this weird, bland, everybody talks this way sort of thing. It's unfortunate, and I'm very disappointed in my parents. I wish that they had really planned this thing ahead better. The following words. Ant. Roof. Uh, root. I, I say it root like if you're going on like talking about a parade route, but if you're actually if it's a verb if you're routing some uh, you route through something like you route somebody through the I-10. But that's the route that they take. I know it's weird. Uh, the next word wash, oil, theater, or if I'm feeling like a jerk theater, iron, salmon. Caramel. I've actually had discussions with people on this. Caramel. Not caramel. Caramel. I don't care how it's spelled. Fire. Water. Sure. Data. Or, if you're talking about Star Trek, data. Uh, ruin. Crayon. Toilet. I say New Orleans because I'm not from there, but people have told me it's supposed to be pronounced New Orleans. Pecan. Both. Again, probably, do not say probably, because that just drives me crazy. Spitting image, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, syrup, pajamas, cot, orange, coffee, direction, naturally, aluminum, I'm not saying aluminium. No, sorry. Uh, herbs. Those are the words. Some of those I don't actually know how other people would pronounce them differently, but what's a different way to say coffee? Coffee? Co I can't, yeah. Uh, what is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? Uh, you teepee a house. That's a phrase people use. What is a bubbly carbonated drink called? Here's the interesting thing about this question for me. If you've ever seen those maps where they have the entire country mapped out on whether they call it soda or pop or whatever, you'll notice in the south there's a section where they call it Coke. And also there's apparently a really small section in New Mexico where sometimes it's called Coke. Guess where I was born? I call it Coke. It used to drive my grandfather crazy. Because I'd be like, can I have a Coke? You'd be like, okay. And be like, oh, well, I want a Dr. Pepper. But you asked for a Coke. Do with it, Grandpa. I was nine years old. What do you call gym shoes? I call them sneakers. Tennis shoes. I don't really have a specific term I use for that. I guess it depends. I Sometimes I just go by the brand. What do you say to address a group of people? This, most of the time I say, you guys, uh, due to one summer in high school where I spent a lot of time hanging out with sons of cattle ranchers from western New Mexico and eastern Texas, every once in a while my brain slips into y'all, and I try to avoid bringing that out in my speech, but sometimes if I'm a little frustrated, then people get told that y'all suck. What do you kind call the kind of spider that has an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs? Well, the answer's right there. It's a daddy long legs. Again, what other people call it? I'm sure there's something else, but I'm not sure. What do you call your grandparents? Uh, my dad's parents were Grandpa and Grammy, and my mom's parents were Fran Daddy and Mima. Um, what do you call a wheeled contraption in which you carry a carry groceries at a supermarket? 
It's a shopping cart. I guess that's what I call it. Shopping cart. Yeah. What do you call it when the rain falls when the sun is shining? I guess a sun shower? I don't really call it anything in particular. Uh, but, and this is completely unrelated to the, well, it's not completely unrelated to the question, but it's unnecessary to actually share the story. But when my older sister was eight, I think, she got yelled at for a teacher because she drew a picture where there was the sun, and then there was rain, and then there was a rainbow because her teacher told her that there was no way to have it be raining while the sun was shining. I don't know where you get rainbows then. Uh, what is the thing you change the TV channel with? A remote control. And this is the passage you're supposed to read. I probably should have read this ahead, but oh well. Uh, please call Stella. Ask her to bring these things with her from the store. Six spoons of fresh snow peas, five thick slabs of blue cheese, and maybe a snack for her brother Bob. We also need a small plastic snake and a big toy frog for the kids. She can scoop these things into three red bags, and we will go meet her Wednesday at the train station. Do you buy snow peas in spoons? That seems odd to me. But I don't buy a lot of snow peas, I guess, so... I guess I'll leave it up to Stella. All right, and uh, that is pretty much all, pretty much everything there is to follow there. I hope somebody sat through and listened to all of this because otherwise I probably just wasted my time. Talk to you later.